Hey guys, Avi here, and welcome back to the Codex. In this video, we're continuing our weather dashboard with Flask, and today we're gonna create a simple Flask application that will retrieve the zip code from the user. So our goal today is to build out this type of weather dashboard, kind of the basic UI of this, and when I go ahead and enter in a zip code, one, two, three, four, five, and I hit submit, then I wanna go ahead and see in the next URL, just the zip code. So again, we're gonna take a form, an HTML form, get the zip code data and post it. Let's dive right in. First thing first, we need to actually create a simple Flask application. So in order to do that, we need to install Flask on our machine. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up terminal. And if you haven't already, go ahead and say Python 3-M pip install Flask. So this will go ahead and install Flask on our computer. Hopefully you have Flask installed already, but if you don't, that's how you're gonna go ahead and do it. And at the very top from Flask import capital F Flask. So when creating a simple Flask application, if you went with the kind of template structure that PyCharm already provides, you actually only need seven lines of code to make a Flask application. The first is gonna be app equals Flask, and then inside of this, double underscore name. And name here is configured to be kind of the name of this application, and during runtime, this gets replaced. And so here, we're just creating our Flask kind of application, and next is to map this application to a specific route. So when we go to the home page, and the home page here is the simple slash, when we go and navigate to this route, we want to render to the user a simple web page. So in this case, when we go to the home page in the demo version, we can see that the home page is simple slash goes to this nice kind of dashboard enter asking the user to enter in their zip code. So here for now, we're going to say app.route and pass in the slash and then inside of this, go ahead and use a declarative to say weather dashboard is what we want to render. And inside of this, just for now, return hello world. So this will be the route for our homepage of the application. And then I'm going to go ahead and route results to be the results page of our application. So we're using a declarative again, app.route. This kind of at sign means that it's a declarative in Python. A declarative kind of combines this top command and then the function underneath and fuses them together. So what Python or Flask looks at is that it's saying, okay, I know that this user wants to route something to this slash and okay, I have to call this weather dashboard function in order to render the content at the homepage URL. Similarly for results, I can go ahead and create a function over here. Um, I can call this uh, render results. And inside of this, um, for now I'm gonna return results page. So two very simple routes in Flask. If you had some experience with Flask before, these are very common. And last but not least, I'm gonna go ahead and add in the code to ensure that our Flask app runs only once. Here we're gonna say if name is equal to underscore, underscore, main, underscore, underscore, then we're gonna say app.run. And if you look at any template or any guide for Flask, you have these two lines, and this ensures that our app is only run once and multiple instances are not created. So go ahead and save this and control shift R or Python three app.py. And it says for me, my socket is already in use because I'm running the final version. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and stop that and run this one more time. And now I have over here that my server is running on localhost colon 5,000. 5,000 here is the port. So I go ahead and click on this. Let's take a look. I can see that hello world is mapped to my homepage. And if I go to results, I am now at the results page. I'll also zoom in so that's a bit more visible. So that was my results page and that is my homepage. Fantastic. So the next step now is to go ahead and create this type of form look and feel. So I need kind of like some HTML elements and right now I can't really do that because I'm just returning simple plain text. So in Flask, there's this simple folder that you can make called templates and inside of templates, you can actually add in your custom HTML pages to render at every stage. So I'm gonna go ahead and do just that. I'm gonna create a new directory. I'm gonna call this templates. And inside of that, I'm gonna create a new file called home.html. And this file over here will go ahead and essentially render that homepage for my user. So every HTML file has some basic syntax. You have your head, you have your body. And if you haven't learned or looked at HTML code before, I would definitely recommend looking at a W3 Schools tutorial. This is again, some basic, basic syntax of creating a simple website. 
this is going to be my weather dashboard title. And inside of my body for now, kind of mimicking what I have over here, I'm going to go ahead and create an H2 tag, my header tag, which is going to be weather dashboard. Uh, what was it called? Weather dashboard in Flask. And now I'm going to go ahead and create this format. And this format is actually a form. It has two input fields. It has an input field for the text and my submit button. So that is going to be very, very straightforward. I'm going to create a form and whoops, form, I misspelled that. And inside of this form, I'm going to go ahead and add in the text over here. That's asked for the location zip code. And this will go ahead and be placed right next to an input field that is of type text and will ask for a name in this case, zip code. And now I'm going to go ahead and use a break tag in order to go to the next line of the page. And in the next line, I'm going to create my submit button. My submit button is going to be of type submit. And here the value is also going to be submit. So again, very, very simple stuff. I'm creating a form that has some text. It's asking for the zip code. It has the input field right next to it. And then underneath that, a submit button. So let's go ahead and run the server over here. Control shift R or Python three app.py. And if I go ahead and close this and refresh my page, my hello world still looks the same. And the reason for that is because even though we created a home to HTML page in the templates folder, we're not rendering that when we go to our actual weather dashboard function over here. So what we're going to go ahead and do is from flask import this function called render template and return instead of hello world render template and inside of this template home.html. The template function automatically looks inside of the templates folder. And so we don't have to specify slash templates inside of this kind of directory structure. If you go ahead and save this and run the application again, uh, stop and rerun, we can go ahead and see over here and refresh. We have this brand new page, our H2 page, our form location zip code. I can put in some text, I can hit submit and nothing happens. So we've created this template that offers kind of the front end view of our dashboard. And our goal now is to take this zip code, this 95129 or 12345. And when I hit submit, I actually want to go to the results page and have this zip code at hand and be able to call my API with the zip code. So I'm going to use what is called a post request. A post request is when you want to send data to some sort of web service or endpoint. In our case, we're sending our form data to the results endpoint. So in order to do that, there's two things we have to do. We have to specify inside of this route that the method of this is going to be a post method. So we're specifying or we're telling Flask that, hey, to access the results page, it's going to be a post request. And inside of home.html, we need to specify in this form that on click on form submit, I want you to render the results page and pass in the form data. And we can do that by specifying an action and a method for this form. The action of this form is going to be this Jinja code. And the Jinja code here is going to be URL four. And then inside of this, you're going to pass in the function name of rendering the results page. And I believe it was called render results. So command C that command V we're rendering the results function. And then what we have to do is specify that the method of this form is going to be post. So we're rendering the results page as a post request. We've told our kind of declarative over here that the results page, the method here is going to be post. And last but not least, we need to access the form value. So back over here, we specified our input to be name equals zip code. Essentially, if you want to get the value of this input field, this text box over here, if I go back to my homepage, the text box over here is now referred as zip code. And so back inside of my results page, I can actually access it by specifying over here, my zip code is equal to request dot form zip code. And this over here, my request variable is actually coming from flask. So I can access the request of someone hitting my endpoint, my result. And I can say that, oh, there is form data. That form data has a name called zip code. Get me that value. So once you import request from flask and specify the zip code, now I'm going to return the zip code is going to be the zip code specified. Now, one last thing I wanted to mention is that if you were using, um, PyCharm and you noticed in home.html that it gave you some sort of like, Oh, URL for not recognized. 
make sure you specify in preferences in template languages that the template language for your HTML files is Jinja 2. You can search template languages by searching template languages and it should show up over here. Select Jinja 2 and that error should go away. But anyways, this should work regardless of whether you have that setting or not. So without further ado, let's go ahead and run this new code. Control Shift R and head over here. This is my dashboard in Flask. I'm gonna put in some test zip code, hit submit. And now I can immediately see over here that my zip code is 12345. One more time to show that flow, because that's pretty cool. I have my weather dashboard in Flask. I have this input field and it's all in a form based container. I'm putting in some input, 95129. I hit submit and I'm posting the result of this form to my new route results. And I can get that value over here, 95129. So now if you're a developer and you're creating this dashboard, you're kind of piecing together the flow. In the last video, we built out the API call. We were asking for the zip code and the API key. Now we just got the zip code. So you can imagine in the next video, we're gonna tie this together, call the API key or call the API with the zip code we just got and render those results to the user. I hope you're excited to build up the next part. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks so much. I'll see you in the next lecture.